presentation covers the basics of storage volume creation in redfish and swordfish. This presentation is subject to the SNEA legal notice. Within a redfish computer system, storage is potentially found in three locations. The first is within a device controller represented by the simple storage resource. Simple storage works best when directly accessing storage devices without higher level controllers. The second location is within a storage subsystem represented by a storage resource. This works best when accessing SSD or HDD capacity through a storage controller such as a disk array. The third location is within a storage service represented by the storage service swordfish only resource. The computer system resource supports zero or more of each of these locations. Simple storage is represented by a collection of simple storage resources that are part of a computer system. Each simple storage resource comprises an array of storage devices. This represents a physical device controller and its directly attached physical devices. Storage devices appear when they are physically present in the form of a simple storage resource that is part of the simple storage collection in a computer system resource. If a device has storage media, then the amount of storage is represented by the capacity bytes property of the device entry. Storage devices that are physically added later automatically appear as modified simple storage resources. The storage resource represents a storage subsystem of a computer system. The subsystem may be physical or virtual. Each storage resource associates a group of controllers with the devices attached to them and the volumes they provide. The storage resource may have redundancy specified through the redundancy property. Drives are physical resources that first appear when they are discovered in a chassis. Each drive resource describes the functional and physical characteristics of a disk drive. The storage controller resources are located through storage controllers collection property of a storage resource. In Redfish, volumes are allocated or created by posting a new volume resource to the volume collection in a storage resource. Each volume represents accessible logical storage capacity accessed in units of blocks. A volume is often referred to as a logical unit, a LUN, a logical disk, or a virtual disk. It may have additional semantics like RAID modes, write once, redundancy, or encryption. Since volumes are not physical, they appear outside of the computer system resource. Drive resources also reference each volume resource which may be using some of the drive's capacity. Swordfish and Redfish exist within a single set of modeling schemas which are generally referred to as Redfish. Swordfish resources refer to Redfish resources. In order to provide a more application-centric approach to storage management, Swordfish introduces the storage service resource. In Swordfish, the hardware providing storage services is contained within Redfish computer system resources. Resources within computer systems are used to form storage pools. Storage pools refer to sources of capacity such as disk drives contained within computer systems. Storage pools are capable of providing specific classes of service. These are represented by class of service resource collections. Storage pools do not provide access to capacity. Rather, access is provided through volume resources or file system resources, which are not shown here. The storage, Swordfish storage service has the ability to provision volumes from storage pools based on classes of service that are specified when the volume is created. Note that the same volume resource is used by Redfish, regardless of whether Swordfish is implemented or not. References to Swordfish-specific resources are optional in the volume resource. In Swordfish, volume creation occurs when a new volume resource is posted to a volume collection within a storage service resource. 
The new volume resource includes a capacity and a reference to a potentially default class of service. Based on that information, the storage service identifies one or more storage pools and associates them with the new volume. In many cases, capacity is allocated from storage pools on demand, so this association appears as a source of capacity that will be used when it is needed. Storage service resources also allow endpoints to be designated as storage service clients and servers. Endpoints are posted to the endpoint collections within the storage service. So now you know the three ways to manage storage within Redfish and Swordfish and when to use them.